Hello everyone, this is Nian Cat Pop Tart, and today I am bringing to you another battle animation. I'm sure you can already tell by the title that this is going to be a back to school themed battle. Today we've got a battle between the two school themed indie games that are both cute and horrifying in their own right. The kids from kindergarten versus the freak shows of Baldi's basics in education and learning. So guys, before we get into the video, I know that it's getting pretty close to the time where kids are starting to go back to school, which is why I decided to make this video back to school themed. So I would like to ask you, how much do you hate school exactly? And uh, if anyone in the comments is like, oh, I like school, I can't wait to go back, then you have my permission to spank them with Baldi's ruler just by having that mind frame alone. They've let me down, they've let all of you down, they've let all the Elder Gods of Asgard down, and quite frankly, I'm not going to tolerate such horrible language in my comment section. But anyway, <laughs> let's get started with the analysis. God help us all. Let's start things off with the protagonist. The protagonist is the main character of Kindergarten and Kindergarten 2. The protagonist's real name is currently unknown. He may not seem like a very smart kid as he does not know how to read, however he is a child mastermind as he can manipulate his classmates and even teachers to play out events throughout the day to achieve his goals and make things go the way he wants. Up next we've got Cindy. Cindy is a spoiled, devious little girl who is a lot scarier than she would appear. Cindy is smart enough to carry out devious schemes with the help of the player. She is also a lot stronger than she would appear, as she was able to overpower and rip the head of the old janitor right off of his shoulders. Cindy is also known for carrying a knife around, as she will stab the player in the head if she finds out her dog has died. Overall, Cindy is a pretty scary little girl that you don't want to be on the bad side of. Up next, let's discuss Monty. Monty is pretty much the provider for Team Kindergarten. He usually has all kinds of items that the others can use for the right price. Monty is also highly intelligent for his age as he is the only one in his class that knows how to read. Unfortunately for him, the crazy old janitor broke his legs and now he's basically crippled in a wheelchair. But this doesn't make him defenseless. He has constructed a large laser blaster that comes out of his wheelchair. This can cause serious damage. No, that's a lot of damage! Next, let's talk about Bugs. Bugs is the schoolhouse bully. Bugs has a history of having family issues and this makes him very unstable and easy to anger. He can become so violent that his rough housing can turn into actual attacking. That can lead to the victim's death. The fact he always carries a knife with him makes him that much more dangerous. How's about we talk about one of the more newer characters, Penny. Penny is no ordinary little girl. She is a secret android created by her mother. Penny was once a normal child until she was nearly mauled to death by a mutant. Her mother replaced all her damaged parts that can't be used again with cybernetic robot parts. These cybernetic enhancements grant Penny with unique abilities such as laser vision, increased physical strength, and the ability to manipulate the power in the building to create a blackout. Even though Penny would prefer to be friendly and make friends, she can still be a very dangerous weapon. From a new face to an old face, let's talk some smack about Lily. Lily is normally shy and depressed, however she has been known for being a really great detective. She uses her sleuthing skills to find out about the crimes that the two principals of her two schools have done, and with the help of the player can permanently put a stop to such horrible acts, but she can at times be a little emotional. Overall, while Lily may not be a fighter, she can still use her detective skills to learn some pretty deep secrets about the enemy. And last, but certainly not least, let's talk about Nugget. Nugget may be a very strange child, but he is more powerful than you can think. 
McNugget is able to dig a hole so deep the bottom is not visible. As seen in Kindergarten 2, Nugget is strong enough to cause the whole school to shake just by beating his head against the wall. He is durable enough to survive excessive blood loss as he chewed his arm off and lived without any medical treatment. But his true power is shown once he has the legendary talismans in his possession. These talismans are actually Monstermon cards, which are parody Pokemon cards. Once he has 25 to 50 Monstermon cards in his possession, he uses the powers that a full deck gives him to create apocalyptic scenarios that can end all life in the school at his command. With the talismans, Nugget gains the powers of matter manipulation, weather manipulation, and even slight reality warping. <laughs> With Team Kindergarten out of the way, now it's time to discuss Team Baldi's basics. Let's start with the main man himself, Baldi. Baldi is the teacher and owner of Here School, aka Baldi's Schoolhouse. Baldi is very smart and loves math so much that he believes everyone else should like it too. He is usually a pretty nice guy, but once a student gets an answer wrong, Baldi quickly becomes angry. Baldi has incredible hearing, as he can not only hear everything throughout the school, but can also hear who or what made the noise, and where. This means Baldi usually knows where you are at all times. Baldi is most famous for his trusty ruler, which he uses to spank and discipline his students. From teacher to student, let's discuss playtime. Playtime is a little girl who just wants to play. When she finds you, she has the ability to hold you in place and force you to jump rope. If you fail, she will make you do it all over again, but she can be defeated by cutting her rope. Up next, we've got It's a Bully. It's a Bully is the bully of Baldi's schoolhouse. If you happen to come across It's a Bully, you'd better give him something. If you don't, then he's going to beat you out of a random item and steal it from you. Once It's a Bully has something from you, he will mysteriously vanish and allow you to pass. But if you don't, he will continue to block your path and force you to find another route. Up next, we've got Principal of the Thing. Principal of the Thing is the principal of Here School. If he sees anyone breaking the rules, he will chase them down at high, inescapable speeds. Once he catches them, he will teleport them to his office where they will have detention for as long as he chooses, and they cannot leave until time is up or if they have the principal's keys. However, if you're caught trying to leave detention before time is up, he will put you right back in again. Next, let's talk about the living sock puppet, Arts and Crafters. Arts and Crafters is a giant sock puppet. He is usually very shy and would prefer to stay away from people, but if you collect more notebooks than him, he will get jealous and race towards you if he sees you. Once Arts and Crafters is charging at you, you cannot escape him. He will chase you down until the end. Once he touches you, he will teleport you to another area in the building. From sock to machine, let's talk about First Prize. First Prize is a friendly robot that loves hugs. If he sees you, he will move towards you at fast speeds, and will push you down the hall with no escape until you two hit the wall. Arts and Crafters usually doesn't mean any harm, but his speed that he forces you against a wall with could cause a bit of unintentional damage. Up next, we've got the man who's definitely gonna sweep the floors with the competition, it's Gotta Sweep. Gotta Sweep is the trusty janitor in Here School. Gotta Sweep is a sentient broom that loves sweeping. When the time comes to sweep the place clean, he's more than happy to do it. Goddess Sweep may love his job, but nobody tells him how or when to do it. 
If he's doing his sweeping round and you are in his way, you are coming along for the ride. God a sweep is strong enough to bash through locked doors and can carry the other characters with him while he sweeps like nothing. Overall, God of Sweep is a pretty chaotic janitor, but he is quite powerful too as he can pretty much burst through locked doors without a scratch. It's time to get ready for the fight. A battle between Team Kindergarten and Team Baldi's Basics. Let the battle begin! Show and tell today. We're yeah. supposed to learn about vaginas. We're gonna learn the second half of the alphabet. It's time for everybody's favorite subject, math. I'll take that. It's mine now. No. 
Broken knife in the road! Hadouken! That makes me dead! No bullying in the hall. Let's play! Who? I'm a dub! Detention for you. You should know better. Your parents will hear about this one. I'm stabbing people with pencils in the They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Duggan is quite durable. Duggan will survive. I see you, friend. I hunt people for all eternity. I have lost you. I don't like that. Looks like it's sweeping time! <laughs> Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! There's no hope for you now. Ha 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 ha.
Hadouken! Behold, the power of Nugget! Team Kindergarten. Why does Team Kindergarten win? Well, the main reason is that Team Kindergarten is more evened out with their stats, while Team Baldi only has about two or three members on their team that are capable of putting up a fight. Characters like Baldi, Gotta Sweep, and potentially It's a Bully are the only members of Team Baldi with actual battle experience. Meanwhile, the other characters like First Prize, Playtime, and Principle of the Thing don't really cause any physical harm to you. While they can be a hindrance to you and stop you from making progress, they don't actually do any physical harm to you. Meanwhile, the kids from Kindergarten have mostly all been known for their devious schemes and killing off their students and even the school staff. Meanwhile, the characters that are not really fighters like Lily or Monty can still be a big help to the team because Lily can use her sleuthing skills to figure out that the various items found around the school can hinder Team Baldi and Monty can provide the team with handy and useful items that they can use during battle. Plus, let's not forget about that laser cannon on his chair. But the biggest downfall for Team Baldi would be Nugget. Nugget alone is powerful enough to shake the entire building by banging his head against it, and when Nugget has all the Monstermon cards in his possession, his power is unbelievable. While Nugget has the Monstermon cards, he is able to plunge the land into an apocalyptic scenario and can smite down anybody he chooses with just the snap of his fingers. Overall, Team Baldi would try their best, but wouldn't be any match for Team Kindergarten mainly because Team Kindergarten is more evened out on their stats, while Team Baldi only has a couple characters that would actually be able to put up a fight, making the winner of this battle Team Kindergarten. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed the animation regardless of who won, and if you would like to maybe leave a suggestion on a couple characters that you'd like to see fight, I might end up making it in the future if I like the idea. Anyway, thanks again guys for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, just, you know, gently caress that subscribe button, you don't need to hit it, the subscribe button did nothing to you, just gently caress it, make it feel happy, and <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, bye. What?!